back everyone as you just saw i'm not at the homestead i decided to take a little trip i actually decided to come up to the cabin for the night so let's get unpacked as you can see i got my wheeler and everything up here let's get unpacked and let's head out to the cabin I'm all packed up as you can see here. I'm not really taking much out. These two plastic bags just have a, basically a cut offs and stuff like that from building my cabin last year. So they're just gonna be used as kindling. And then I'm taking out a little bit of water. This is only about half full. I got my drone. I got just a little bit of food in there. I plan on actually getting a pizza at the Forks Roadhouse tonight. So I'm gonna head back there once I get everything unloaded from the cabin and then i got my protection just in case there's a bear around or i run into something like that and then i got a few things in my backpack a change of clothes stuff like that but nothing too much so let's quit talking and let's get out to the cabin Oh, my trails are blocked. I don't know how to get it out to the swamp right there. There's spruce everywhere. Just look at that. This is all from the beetle kill about five years ago. They're just getting so dead now, they're just falling over with a little bit of weight from the snow. So let's see what I can do. I think there's one very narrow path I can make it out to the swamps from down here. I got to skirt a couple big mud holes, so let's see what happens.
here's my dilemma. My cabin's up in those woods. And there's all this down here. And how do I get around all this? To get up there. If this tree wasn't in the way, I could go right up through here. And then I can't take my side trail because that birch is laying across it. And yeah, it's definitely too low to go under. And I can't go around because there's dead trees laying there all up through there. I think I'm gonna walk around and see if I can't go up through my neighbor's property and see if there's an opening that way. I'll catch back up with you guys here in a little bit. Not gonna find a pathway up that way. I'm gonna have to go back that way and see if I can't find something that way. So let's go. That was a pretty wild ride, huh? Well, my cabin's right up there. So I'm gonna see if there's not a pathway up through here somewhere that I can get through. So I'll catch back up with you guys here in a little while. There's nothing up that way. Once you get up there a little ways, the alders just get way too thick. So I'm gonna keep going down. I might be able to get up to my neighbor's cabin on this side of me and then cut across. We'll see how that goes.
That was crazy. Holy cow. I didn't think I was going to make it. But I'm here, as you can see. I definitely, uh, when I head out, I do have a hand saw. I'm going to take it with me and try to cut that one uh, birch tree where the branch is laying down across the trail. I'm going to try to cut that and move it. But let's take a look at the strawberries over here. Well, oh, that's not good. Got lots of mushrooms growing in here. And here's the berry plants. The raspberry and blackberry plants are coming along. Man, this place looks like a war zone with the trees laying down everywhere. <sighs> On the bright side, it looks like my cabin's okay. Just a few panels fell over, probably by some wind gusts or something. Let's get unloaded and get inside the cabin. I got everything unloaded as you can see here. I got my hand saw. It's the only saw I got up here. So I'm ready to head back to the forks and get some food. But I'm gonna take the real trail that I always use. So let's get down there and see if I can get that branch cut out of the way so I can use that tonight on the way back. If you remember from last winter, when I was riding my snow machine out here, I hit some trees and got stuck. Well, right here is where I got stuck. As you can see, there's really no way around this. I'm gonna have to cut this. But what I don't like is this leaning tree right here pretty well connected up there at the very top but a good strong wind can knock it down so I'm expecting that to be on the trail one of these days here but I think I'm gonna cut this birch tree right there just wide enough that I can get through so let's get after it I'll catch back up to you guys after I get this cut a little bit. I'll talk to you then. <sighs> Finally. Good afternoon, everyone. I made it down to the forks last night. I forgot to record anything when I got there. I was a little bit on the cold side from riding the wheeler down and met up with some people right at the door there so I didn't record anything. But I did have a good time, saw some friends I haven't seen since the winter time. So it was a good trip, I had some fun, and I obviously made it back to the cabin last night. Today, I slept in a little bit, got something to eat, and now I'm just packing up and gonna head out. This was just an overnight trip, 
So thanks everyone for coming along and I hope you enjoyed this video.